Grant gives the security guards at Chobe a crash course in elephant body language that could save their lives. He leads them to a potentially dangerous situation, a breeding herd of elephants led by an older female, the matriarch. Okay, guys, what do we notice with these elephants? The first thing I notice about these elephants is they've stopped flapping their ears, okay? That means they are aware of us. It's all about body language. Herds like this are made up of females and their young. Mothers can go on the offensive if they feel threatened. These are individuals. They have a different reaction to the same thing, but none of them are aggressive. Lions that are hungry will stalk and kill and eat people. Elephants don't eat people. They're only killing us because they're afraid of us and you've gotten too close to them. All right, she's not turning away from us. That was her decision, okay? If we were to follow them, they would feel like we were hunting them and she would turn and attack us. Respect for wildlife is a lifesaver out here. It is the number one thing you learn as a safari guide. But sometimes you just need to get out of the way. I want to do a little experiment because all of you feel that it is better to run for your life than to climb a tree. Let's start here by this tree. Grant knows the best way to keep the guards safe at night is for them to go higher, not faster. Let's see if this little tree ladder works. That's it. It's about three seconds. But his new tree ladder won't save any lives unless he can convince the guards to use it. We're going to do an experiment and see if it's better always to run or if sometimes it's better to climb. This time trial will drive home how quickly they need to react to a real elephant charge. Right, I'll be walking at the back. But we're going to be on our way and I'm going to say, elephant charging guys, elephant charging. Stop. Okay. Mutemwa, yeah. dead. Joe, dead. Tom, maybe, maybe survive hiding behind the tree while it kills your friends. <laughs> but the only person who is safe for sure is Sam, who is up in the tree. So guys, although this was just a fun exercise, I want you to think about it seriously. What I'm going to recommend is that we do this to the trees along all of your safety routes. If something comes for you, Immediately, this is a safety point. You can get up. Yeah. All right, you guys happy? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm okay with elephant because now I'm trained. It's a really good feeling leaving Chobi, knowing that there's a much lower chance of a fatal encounter between security guards and elephants.